Hello everyone, welcome to my second lecture on electrical measurement and control. So today we will discuss about thermistor. Thermistor is one type of transducer. So here on the left side you can see an image of a thermistor and on the right side you can see the symbol. So thermistor is a type of resistor whose resistance is dependent on temperature. Like we know in normal registers, resistance of the register change with change in temperature. But thermistors are made of such materials which changes their resistance more compared to the normal register, general purpose register we know. So thermistor the term came from two words, thermal and registers. That makes thermistor. The temperature coefficient so it describes the relative change of physical property that is associated with a given change in temperature so the property r that changes when the temperature changes by dt the temperature coefficient alpha is defined by the following equation so dr by r is equal to alpha dt so why we are talking about temperature coefficient because temperature coefficient is the alpha value here in the equation and how much the resistance is changing compared to its previous resistance when you apply some temperature if it changes more the temperature coefficient is more if it changes less the temperature coefficient is less for that particular thermistor so there are basically two types of thermistor one is negative temperature coefficient thermistor another one is positive temperature coefficient thermistor so from the name we can understand that in case of negative temp temperature coefficient thermistor which is also called ntc the coefficient temperature coefficient is negative in nature and in case of positive temperature coefficient thermistor that is ptc the temperature coefficient is positive in nature so negative temperature coefficient thermistor that is NTC resistance decreases with increase in temperature so as it is mentioned in the name negative temperature coefficient that means the resistance will be less the coefficient is negative so with the increase in temperature the resistance will decrease so that's what's happening so it's follow a the NTC follow a roughly logarithmic law with no violent changes in resistance unlike PTC. So we, practically we will see that NTC is more used compared to PTC. Why? We'll see that in next few slides. But for now the NTC follows a natural logarithmic law. A normal logarithmic law when it comes to changes in its resistance compared to temperature okay so here we can see resistance versus temperature response of NTC and we can see the more we go in the temperature axis the resistance decreases okay with advance in temperature resistance decreases but in case of positive temperature coefficient it is opposite the resistance increases with the increase in temperature another thing that is why we don't see much PTC used in real life is because the graph is non-linear in nature so why we use the thermistor or any other type of transducer so that we can measure something we can convert something and if the graph is non-linear in nature then we cannot know the exact value of the resistance or temperature for that matter if the graph is non-linear okay and even if we can by several mode of calculations the complexity will be more 
so that's the reason ptc is used less compared to ntc so here we can see the resistance versus temperature response for ptc and look around 100 degrees c and 120 degrees c there is a lawn linearity in the curve so that's what was i was talking about so let's see the construction what is the material that is ntc and ptc and in general thermistor is made of thermistor is made up of ceramic like semiconducting materials such as copper oxide magnet manganese oxide nickel oxide cobalt oxide titanium oxide and lithium oxide so what is the process of the construction these oxides are blended in a suitable proportion compressed into the desired shapes from the mixed powers then heat treated to recrystallize them then it result in a dense ceramic body with the required resistance temperature characteristics okay so that's how it is made now let's see the working principle of this thermistor so thermistor is a temperature sensitive semiconductor it exhibit a large change in resistance over relatively small change in temperature so we can detect the temperature very accurately change in temperature with its changes in resistance so as we have seen before there are two main types of thermistor positive temperature coefficient thermistor and negative temperature coefficient thermistor and negative temperature coefficient thermistor resistance fa falls decrease with increase in temperature and this is the most commonly used for temperature measurement a thermistor is similar to an RTD but a semiconductor material is used instead of metal okay so about RTD we will know about RTD in next videos okay so a thermistor is a solid state device and has larger sensitivity than does an RTD unlike RTDs the temperature resistance characteristics of a thermistor is non-linear and cannot be characterized by a single coefficient so unlike RTDs the resistance of a thermistor decreases with increasing temperature okay and thermistor cannot be used to measure high temperatures compared to RTD so here we can see that RTDs are more efficient compared to thermistor but still thermistor are used okay but thermistor have a limited range of temperature that it can measure because the resistance changes we can see the resistance changing in that temperature region after that resistance won't change that much or a bit might be zero for some temperature so it won't be effective for measuring temperatures but RTDs can be so we will learn about RTD in near future so in fact the maximum temperature of operation of PTC NTC or thermistor in general is 100 or 200 degrees C. So thermistor changes resistance with temperature, but then how do we show that change in resistance? Either we have to always connect a multimeter to that thermistor to measure the temperature to measure the resistance then convert it to temperature or we can use a circuit like this and that circuit with addition of other circuits will show exact temperature by adding some coefficient thin things like that so from the circuit diagram it is clear that this is simple voltage divider and thermistor is used instead of general purpose resistors and are is this some fixed supply register on the above there are two register above and below so above, above one is fixed register and supply voltage is vs and can be adjusted to obtain the desired range of output voltage the output okay for a given range of temperature so okay let's explain it further 
so when the temperature the resistance changes because of the temperature the output voltage changes as well because if we apply um, mesh analysis in this circuit we can see that applied voltage Vs is divided proportionally between fixed resistance Rs and thermistor resistance R. So when the thermistor resistance changes that is if the thermistor resistance increase the voltage increase as well. Okay. In this way we can use this thermistor to determine temperature of the surrounding of, of a certain of a particular object okay so what are the applications so applications of ptc as current limiting device for circuit protections as replacements for fuses current through the devices causes a small amount of resistance heating this resistive heating we know what is resistive heating when current passes through a resistor it makes the resistor hot and this is called resistive heating if the current is large enough to generate more heat than the device can lose to its surrounding, the device heats up, causing the resistance to increase. This creates a self-reinforcing effect that drives the resistance upward, therefore limiting the current. Okay. So, PTC can be used as current limiting devices. Second, a stripe machine degaussing coil circuit of most CRT displays. CRT displays mean cathode ray tube displays when the display unit is initially switched on current flows to the thermistor and degaussing coil the coil and the thermistor are intentionally sized so that the current flow will heat the thermistor to the point that the degaussing coil shuts off in the in under a second for effective degaussing it is necessary that magnitude of the alternating magnetic field produced by the degaussing coil decreases smoothly and continuously rather than sharply switching off or decreasing in steps. The PTC thermistor accomplishes this naturally as it heats up. We know that with PTC increase with increase in temperature the resistance value also increases. In NTC it decreases. So in PTC as it increases a degaussing circuit using a PTC thermistor is simple, reliable and inexpensive. We can use PTC as heater in automotive industry to provide additional heat inside cabin with diesel engine or heat diesel in cold climatic condition before engine injection. So as we can see from here, we can increase the temperature of engine inside diesel engine by supplying more current which increases the resistance and heater industry we use this PTC in temperature compensated synthesizer voltage control oscillators in lithium battery protection circuit in an electrically actuated wax motor to provide the heat necessary to expand the wax mean electric motors and dry type power transformer incorporate PTC thermistors in their windings when used in conjunction with the monitoring monitoring relays they provide over temperature protection to prevent insulation damage the equipment manufacturer selects a thermistor with a highly nonlinear responsive curve where resistance increases dramatically at the maximum allowable winding temperature causing the relay to operate so here are some here are some applications of ntc first as a resistance thermometer for low temperature measurement of the router 10k so, and as an inverse current limiter device in power supply circuits they present a higher resistance initially which prevents large currents from flowing at turn on and then heat up and become much lower resistance to allow higher current during normal operation these thermistors are usually much larger than measuring type thermistor and purposely designed for this application as sensors in automotive application to monitor fluid temperatures NTC can be used like the engine coolant, cabin air, external air or engine oil temperature and feed the relative readings to control unit like ECU and to the dashboard. Fourth, to monitor the temperature of an incubator. Fifth, 
thermistor are also commonly used in model digital thermostat to monitor the temperature of battery packs while charging and in this page last thermistor are often used in the hot ends of 3d printers they monitor the heat produced and allow printers control circuit to keep a constant temperature for melting the plastic filament it is used in the food handling and processing industry especially for food storage system food preparation maintaining the correct temperature is critical to prevent food borne illness so it is used is used there okay throughout the consumer appliance industry for measuring temperature toaster coffee makers refrigerator feature hair dryer etc all rely upon thermistor for proper temperature control ntc thermistor come in bare and lugged form the format is for point sensing to achieve high accuracy for specific points such as laser diode die etc for measurement of temperature profile inside the seal cavity of a convective it is thermal inertial sensor thermistor probe assemblies after protection of the sensor in harsh environments the thermistor sensing element can be packaged into a variety of enclosure for use in industries such as hvac okay building automation pool spa energy industrial electronics enclosure can be made out of stainless steel aluminum copper bars or plastic Congress configurations include threaded npt etc flanked with mounting holes for use of insulation and straight flat tip pointed tip radius tip etc thermistor probe assemblies are very rugged and are highly customizable to fit the application needs probe assemblies have gained in popularity over the years as in improvements in research engineering manufacturing techniques have been made so that's it for today guys goodbye